Hello everybody, this is a little garden tour for you. I've spent all day long in the heat renovating gardening beds. I have these two beds in my side yard, side of the driveway that I have been working, working, working on. Weeding, digging out weed, tree stumps, plantings. I have a patch of thistle in the middle of this thing that's gonna look horrible, you're gonna see it later. That I'm spraying with brush killer, waiting for it to die off to get rid of it. And oh, look at this cute little fuchsia. It's like a little tiny fairy plant. Waiting to see a fairy just come pop it out of there. Those little flowers are so cute. Okay, yeah, we were digging and dividing liriope today. Didn't have to buy, got a lot of that. Dig it up, divide it up, even in the August heat. That's deaf stuff. And here we go, ground cover city. Never should have planted this. It's a monster, but I kill it off with brush killer roundup, whatever, once in a while. The beautiful, wilty Annabelle hydrangea. I got a hose going on right now. It is so stinky hot out here, people. And then we have some Vinca Minor that just came off of a hanging basket, hit the ground 20 years ago, and voila, we got a bed of that stuff. And a beautiful little Japanese maple. And let's see, we're going down the hill. We'll start up at the end and walk down. Okay, just have a glorious huge ash tree right here. Succumbed to emerald ash borer. This hill was covered in beautiful blue hosta, and they fried and died. So, but the Laripe lives on, so we're gonna have to think of something to do with this hill, because this is the last part of this area of the yard that I have yet to do. So, it's, sometimes it's partial shade, but sometimes I get a lot of full sun. You got one of those little tiny hostas or two left in there, and they are just struggling and not looking happy. And then I love this one. This one is a, a uh, cut leaf elderberry. Makes great big, huge white blooms. It looks almost like a hydrangea. And just kind of spreads into a big clump. That's lovely. Okay, we're going up the side of the driveway here. And you can see, there we go. And here is the other side I've been working on. I got this end here cleaned out. We got a lot of old dead trees cut out of here this spring and some new shrubs planted and just did a severe whack job on this golden arborvitae. Then we have a huge pink smoke tree and a double file Marie's viburnum. Pretty bluish purple lilac that's not blooming. Old fashioned lilac, great big blooms. And then we have, I like to put containers and hanging baskets to my gardens for color, especially when they're newly planted like this. And we have a basket with mandevilla, impatience and some way petunias that are looking tired and sad and then we've got buckets of zinnias i grew from seed that are starting to look tired and sad and then liz had a sale this spring on napita catmint they were only like three bucks a pot and i planted a bunch in here and they were gallon pots and tiny that was one gallon pot look how big that thing got it's like a bushel basket bigger they are happy 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 and pretty little blue blooms i'm gonna have to cut them back and shape them up after a while but, and then we have some euonymus, you know, ground cover all over the dang place. Little bucket of little yellow sedums. And then I love this daylily. This yellow daylily, it's, uh, everybody plants Stelladora, but this is called Happy Returns, and it's a much more like of a butter yellow, and uh, it repeat blooms as well. And this is the lovely white rose of Sharon tree that I've been growing from a little stick and pruning it for like almost a decade. Had a tree here that I knew was gonna die, so. Grew that in the backyard for a long, long, long time. Then cut the tree down, dug this baby up and put it in its place. As we go along, got more the pita cut mint. Got my glorious, bright, bright yellow. I just love it, coleus that I got for a buck off the dead plant rack at Lowe's. I bought like two six packs of them and put them all over the yard. They look fantastic. And then we have a lovely hydrangea back here blooming towards the neighbor's yard but it's it's getting done it's getting finished but it was pretty when it was going it's getting pink yeah i don't remember the name of this one but yeah, it's a pretty one it's gonna it's a big one though it's gonna get like eight foot by eight foot It'll be real lacy and pretty and yeah the zinnias all i did was throw seeds on a little bucket throw them out in the garden i had to put them on plant stands though because bunnies moved i have bought my hawks left this year finally Nasty hawks, red shoulder hawks, gone. Oh, look at this one. And uh, the bunny rabbits moved back in and they are living in this garden. And uh, yeah, eating anything that's on the ground that they like. But they don't like the daylilies and they don't like the catmint. 
So yay for that. And look, buried in the jungle. I got a pretty little crate myrtle that's just a bit getting out of bloom. But it was pretty when it was blooming. And then we have another hanging basket. We have sedum, uh, pink wave petunias, and some red begonias. Petunias and begonias are looking sad, but the sedum is coming into its own. It's looking happy. And uh, I get these hanging baskets at Home Depot. They're self-watering ones. They have like a reservoir in the bottom because uh, uh, I have to water these stupid pots of zinnias because they're not self-watering like all the time. I finally put them in containers of water, but uh, we'll see how long that works. And then this is the last end of the garden that I have yet to, uh, on this side, do anything with, okay? This is, I pruned him up a little bit today, but we have, see, honeysuckle or some kind of crap coming up underneath this bush. So, Saturday when Cameron, my little garden helper, shows up, my teenage lovely garden worker, I'm going to get him to crawl underneath there and hack all that down, and then we will treat the stumpage and kill this stuff off. And I have a glorious, rare, I got from Wayside Gardens, look at all this milkweed, um, Japanese magnolia. It's a beautiful, beautiful magnolia, and it got scabbed last year, about died. So, we look at all the new growth coming up in the middle, though, because I treated it, and it's, ha it's happier now. So we got to do major, major pruny job on this guy. Major pruny job. And look, see, yeah, more of that crappy honeysuckle. We're going to have to get after that. That stuff goes everywhere. And then... Very end, got this lovely big globe pine. Good, it was about the size of a bushel basket when I planted it, and it, it is, it's like the size of a Volkswagen now. And last but not least, for this garden, and this grew all by itself from a volunteer, and I don't know if it came from my pink smoke tree down the other end of the bed or where it came from. It was a lot more purple earlier. And I pruned the heck out of this last year, and it's growing like a dang weed. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's going to be 20 feet tall. I'm going to have to like cut it in half. But it just, you know, sometimes Mother Nature picks what you need and puts it where it should go. Because I have no idea where this came from. And there's a neighbor around the corner has one. Maybe it flew in on a bird seed. I don't know. Because it's not really the same color as my other one. But who knows? Okay. Now we'll go up the top the other side of the garden and walk our way back down. Uh, the grass is looking yuck. And I just felt a raindrop hit my head. I wish the sky would open up and it would pour. The ground is so dry, it is just horrible. But I just watered out here. And here we go. We have a gray out juniper on the end, followed by a limelight hydrangea. Then we have variegated yuccas and some lamy ears. And then I have a collection of multicolored co-flowers. Uh, we have Black Eyed Susan. We have Echinacea in many colors. Red, yellow, purple, magenta. Then these are Japanese tree peonies. They're peonies that are not herbaceous. They leave up wood stems and they make huge flowers, big as your head, really pretty in spring. Then this is the liriope that I just divided. I extended this bed, moved the liriope down. We got beautiful ornamental onions coming along and that's crocosmia that's gonna make almost an orchid-like red bloom. These lilies, Asiatic lilies, are past. They were beautiful, red and yellow ones. Well, our theme here is hot. We've got like a lot of red and yellows and purples. And then we've got our pretty liriope is blooming. Look at these pretty little blooms. Aren't they cute? It's just starting to rain a little. And another deal at Lowe's. Got this yarrow for three bucks a piece. And then we have a strawberry sundae hydrangea I just put in. Some yellow sedum. We're coming back up the other side of the bed and it's starting to rain like heck. So I am out of here, people. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.